What is up, Scooterheads? I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, unfortunately, it's that time of the year. New York, upstate. Um, time to put the bike up. So last week, couple weeks has been, I don't think I've ridden since the middle of November. And I keep hoping like, okay, maybe this weekend or maybe this weekend. I did have a small window. <laughs> um, I would say last Saturday before we got the crazy windstorm, um, I did have a very small window where I could have rode in the morning, but I, I was like, ah, I didn't do it. So uh, I do think that right now is the time to put it up. So I'll kind of share with you what I'll be doing. First, I don't, not in any particular order, but I'm gonna remove the, uh, the aftermarket uh, windscreen. I'm going to put some stabilizer, fuel stabilizer in. I'm gonna do a quick wipe down with some detail spray. As you know, a couple, about a month, about two months ago, I did a full ceramic coating on the ADV, so it's gonna be a breeze, like, to get this uh, where all the dust is off of it. And then got some PJs, matching PJs for, so <laughs> I'll be putting, putting that on and then getting it all put away. I also have a battery tender. I'm debating on how I'm gonna move forward with that. The, it's in the garage and I can start this up every day. Um, so that's what I have been doing to keep the battery fresh. So um, if I might, I might skip a day or two, but um, generally speaking, when I come um, with my, my other car, when I take it out, I just take a little time ahead and make sure I start it up. So I don't know if that, that's gonna be necessary. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. It won't, I probably won't put that on in this video. If you guys want to see it, I could maybe do it if I if I decide to. So, um, but uh, want to get started. So the first thing I'm going to do, one thing that I messed up with was I use this for my Firebird because I think over the last five years I've probably put maybe maybe five thousand miles on it. So every year I put new stable in it when I put it up. Um, and normally I write down the date, make sure you do this so you don't waste your money in buying new stable or whatever stabilizer you use. Um, just put the date on there that you open the bottle. That way you know specifically when you purchase it so you don't have to buy some, some other ones. I'm pretty sure I purchased this last year, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to put anything in there that's not going to, you know, um, do what it's supposed to do. So directions are uh, one ounce, uh, treats up to two and a half gallons um, of fuel, um, only with fresh fuel and keep uh, uh, gas about 95% full to avoid condensation and build up during storage. So um, this is a little bit under two, it's, a, it's about two gallons, I believe. Don't quote me, I'll, I'll put the number in the um, in the description or I'll do a pop-up here. But um, I'm not gonna be using a lot of this here. So um, I'm, I'm gonna probably put about an ounce in here. Yep, I think I'm gonna do an ounce uh, because that's very close. So here we go. So first, you guys, if you have ADV, you know how to do this. I forgot, and I will accessorier. Um, I hope I didn't butcher, butcher your um, YouTube, but I remember I saw your video where you did, you magnetized uh, this gas cap. So that was a pretty good idea. So basically have it where it pops right here and stays out the way. So that's pretty awesome. And uh, so this this uh, stable, I already put the date on there, 12, 15, uh, 2021. But uh, here you can see where you can uh, measure the amount that's in there. So you just go here. All right. 
that was three fourths. There's another one fourth. Plenty left over. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it up just to make sure the um, Make sure everything circulates through the system here. I don't know if you can hear the exhaust. Well, my mic here, let me try this here. we will be here a little bit better. All right, scooter heads, one thing you want to remember is if you run in your uh, ADV in the garage, make sure you have some ventilation. That door's cracked and uh, I'll get some of the fumes out of here. I do have a carbon monoxide detector in the um, plugged in over there. So that'll help with making sure um, nothing crazy happens. So I also got my propane heater to keep it warm in here. So. A lot of things that could potentially uh, be flammable and uh, cause some carbon monoxide. So just be careful. Um, so next, what I'm gonna do is I will, I think I'm going to do a quick wipe down of the scooter. I already dusted, you know, make sure that the little dust that was around the screen and stuff like that was uh, taken care of. So about a month and a half ago, I did, so about a month and a half ago, I did the um, ceramic coating. I'm using this, which is the, um, uh, this is their McGre uh, McGuire's uh, ceramic detail spray. You can, I use different types of detail spray and it comes out fine. Um, I'm not tied to, cause this was the ceramic coating I applied was a, uh, Adams ceramic coating. I can't tell the difference to be honest with you, whether you use something like this or the, the brand that was already, uh, for the ceramic coating, you know, obviously read the directions, make sure everything applies to all situations. But, uh, so what I do is I just spray it on the cloth. Uh, this will help, uh, reduce the potential for runs on your paint. And uh, basically I'm just gonna wipe it down. Get everything looking good. Um, so I'll share with you guys what I was gonna do while I'm taking this off. I, I don't know how I feel about this windscreen. I, I, I think it's okay, but um, I like the thickness from the um, OEM windscreen. And I actually like the style. It's a little bit, the OEM is, looks a little bit smaller. I really personally have not, couldn't tell the difference between either or when it came to wind deflection. So. For me, it was more an aesthetic thing. And uh, what my plans were, or are maybe, um, are to, I call the tent shop. And they said that they can tent this. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that still. So that's up in the air. 
But that's what my plan is going to be. I'm going to actually take this one off. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to actually use this one instead. I actually like this one better. So I just like, I like the tint on the uh, aftermarket one, but it's, it's much thinner. And you know, it's funny. I was uh, looking on, I looked at that link that I applied, put on. Well, no, I, I was looking, looking it up. That thing is like 70 bucks now. I got it for $35. So at $35, I was like, okay, that's something that could be, you know, that might be worth it. But I don't know, at $70, that's, how did I get a scratch here, man? Sometimes I have what's called garage time in my garage. When my buddies come over, we'll smoke cigars and uh, kind of just hang out in here. And I think someone was sitting on my ADV one day and looks like they brushed maybe their foot on this. And I don't like it. Could have been me too though, I don't know. Put a little bit more on here. I'm just getting the shiny parts, the, the hard plastic. I'm really not interested in wasting a rag on that. I know you guys are probably gonna roast me in the comments like, dude, why'd you put it, why'd you take it off that way? It'll be fine. No dropping. All right. I still think this looks pretty cool like this. <laughs> so these little bumpers are in here to uh, make sure that the, the, um, the, the screen isn't hitting the hard pieces here. So I am going to put a little detail spray in that crevice to make sure everything is good to go and nice and clean. Nice, 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 nice. Last one. Oh. There we go. Guys, I know this is gonna probably be a longer video. Hope you don't mind. Back to the OG windscreen. Last one. So guys, I know on some of my videos I've been doing the um, the motorcycle or the new scooter kind of preview. It's not meant to be clickbait. Someone left a comment, they were pretty angry. It was like, oh, this is clickbait. Dude, I'm not trying to clickbait nobody, anyone for the, you know, showing a uh, bike that's out. Um, I know we're all scooter heads, so it's one of those things where, like, hey, I, when I saw that ADV 350, I was like, oh my gosh, that, that one I got real excited for. I did reach out to Honda on that um, through Instagram, like, you know, um, and 
they said that it wasn't coming due to um, U.S. regulations. They were very general about that. They didn't say, you know, didn't go too far in depth on it. But um, so kind of lost some hope on that. You know, I didn't. That's one of those things. I think it would be good to have that market placement here. But if they're not selling, obviously they're a business. If the regulations are crazy, it's one of those things where, okay, I get it. But it still would have been nice. And I would have, I, I do think if I, if that would have came out, I would have probably considered it. Because I love the storage. Uh, storage it has some updated tech on the dash. A lot of things I put in that video, the, the three things, that, the five things or three things I would change about the Honda ADV. This uh, 150, uh, it looks like they addressed it with the, with that 350 ADV. So, unfortunately, we probably won't get it, but we do what we can. We do what we can. I'm going to wipe this down. The one other thing I like about this windscreen is that when I'm adjusting it, it's... A little bit easier to reach, that's all. Nothing crazy. Yeah, all right. I'm happy with that. And so lastly, I'm going to put on ADV's PJs. You know what, just because I'm a little bit retentive in certain cases. I'm gonna start this up one more time. Since I haven't had a chance to ride it, I want to make sure that that fuel, is, the stable is circulated. All right, watch out now. I'll let it run for a little while. That thing looks mean. It looks like a transformer. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Last thing I'm gonna do before I put the cover on, I'm gonna just check in here, make sure my important things are out of here. So, obviously my bevel, my gloves. I like to keep my paperwork in the house. I know this is wrong and fireman Dan would not be happy, but I'm gonna keep my bootleg uh, safety kit in here. I don't think it's gonna do much harm. Do you guys, I know we're a scooter channel. Um, do you guys watch? A lot of motorcycle channels as well. Um, I know I found that now that I'm riding, I like I enjoy the motorcycle channels as well. And uh, so learning a lot out there. So it's really cool, and, and it's so funny because I, I'm 40-ish, 40 41. Um, it's so funny. I didn't this this hobby. Uh, it's like, it's so refreshing to 
to start a new hobby at this stage in your life because, you know what I mean, things can get a little bit stale. And uh, motorcycles and scooters, it's kind of opened up a whole new universe to me. So I'm very grateful for that. I'm still a car guy, but I have to admit that some of my, instead of looking at just car videos on YouTube, I'm, I've been really going crazy with scooters and motorcycles. So uh, totally awesome there. I'm gonna put this, uh, this cover on here. I think this might be a little big, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna fit it first. Um, just so you guys can see it. And I'll put the link from Amazon. This is a, just a dust cover. You wouldn't want to use this for, uh, if you're keeping this outside and also don't want to, there looks like there's a buckle here. So make sure you don't hit your bike with it. Muffler's pretty cool. So don't have to worry about it catching on fire or anything like that. Putting on her jammies. I don't know. <laughs> I'll work with it and uh, see where I went wrong, but that's kind of what it looks like. I'll put it on the right way when I put it up. So, and I'll put, I, I like it because it's really soft. It's in the garage. It just takes the dust off. It, this, this garage does get very dusty. So guys, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, the only other thing I'm going to do, and I don't want to bore you guys with this, is check the tire pressure, fill it up with the uh, uh, correct tire pressure. I've got some tire blocks that I'm going to put around it just to, for some extra security. But other than that, man, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, you guys have a very happy holiday season. Whatever you celebrate, uh, hope you enjoy your families. And I'll check you on the next one. Peace.